Hello everyone, welcome to Artventure. My name's Kirsty. Artventure is a website which is designed to give kids the skills and confidence they need in art. If you'd like to check out more of my lessons, you can click on the website below. So this artwork we're going to do is an Easter Bunny. First thing we always do is our border. Okay, so up the top half, I'm going to do a little oval. That's going to be my Easter Bunny's nose. On top of that, I'm going to do a ridge or a little hill, but it's going to be the ridge of his nose. Underneath this oval, I'm going to do a letter J and a back to front letter J. That's his little uh, bunny mouth. And then down here, I'm going to do two teeth. So I'm going to do a sort of the bottom of a rectangle shape there. And then I'll do a line which follows down from this line here. On top of my bunny's ridge of his nose here, I'm going to do two big hills. And that's the beginning of his eyes. So we'll make them the same size and shape. And then on the inside of that, I'm going to do another hill. Now I want my bunny to be quite cute. So the way we do that is we need a big pupil, which we've already done, that's this shape here. And then we need a reflection in his eye. So in the corner, I've done mine on the same side. At the moment, it looks like he's looking up to the left, but I'm actually going to color these two sections here, which will make it look like that is a reflection in his eye. Okay, so once I've finished doing my two eyes, I'm going to do a line on either side of his head um, because above that I need to do the top of his head and his ears, but I also need to do his fluffy cheeks down here. So once you've done those two lines, I'm going to start on the bottom of both of those two and come out and give him some fluffy cheeks, fluffy, 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 and see how I come out but then I come towards his chin here. So fluffy, fluffy like that. And then what I'm going to do is give him a little chin here. So I'll give him a chin and then I need to make sure that that joins up with my fluffy cheeks that I've just drawn for him. Okay, I'm going to do my ears that come up and then they're gonna flop down because I'd like him to have big ears, but there's not quite enough room for me to keep going up there. So I'm going to bend it down. So I'm going to do the end of his ear first, which is like a big sort of sausage shape. So this bit here stays there, but the extension of this comes down like that. And then I'll do a line like that as well. And then this needs to join up there. And then I'll do, maybe I'll join this bit first. So I'll give him a fluffy top of his head and then my other ear goes up. I imagine it goes off my page, over my border and back down like that as well. Just on the inside of his ear here, I'm going to do an extra shape. So that can be the inside of my bunny's ear. But then this bit folds down and that's the outside of his ear. Okay, I'm going to do my bunny rabbit waving. So I'm going to imagine that this bunny rabbit um, is a bit human. It's going to be standing on two legs, not like a real bunny. And then this arm is going, I'm gonna go wiggle, 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 because that's going to be his arm going up and waving. Because when you wave, your arm goes up towards the sky. So there's his arm and I'm going to give him a little paw on the inside there. And then this arm can come all the way down, straight down to the bottom of the page, and that's going to be the side of his body. 
Now this arm is going to come around. See how I'm starting sort of where his shoulder would be? I'm gonna do a bit of a wiggly line which comes down and it's going to be sort of like shaped like a cut for cat. So watch this, see how that comes into like a letter C? And then I'm gonna come up, around and back. See like that? But I make sure that I stop here. Now, sometimes I do my basket first because it comes on top of my arm, but it's a bit tricky to figure out how to do it. So I'm just going to use a thick crayon to color over top. In fact, I might just turn, see how this, there's a line coming through here? I'm gonna turn that into a basket pattern. So just lines across like that. And then I'm going to turn this into a basket. So it'll be sort of like an upside down letter T. So there's that bit and then I'm gonna come out and across. See how that looks like an upside down T? And then I'm going to do a big dip under here for the rest of my basket. But it doesn't quite fit, so I'm just going to imagine that it comes out and down and up here again. On my basket, I'll add a basket pattern. So I'm going to add repetitive lines this way, which means I do it over and over again. And notice how they're a bit curved. And then I'm going to swap directions. So I'm gonna start over this side and do curved lines going the other way. There we are, now I can add some Easter eggs. And I'm going to paint these lots of different colors when I come to painting in a minute. So the Easter eggs are inside my bunny's basket like that. Now I'm going to give my bunny a fluffy chest. I've also decided to do a pattern in the background that's going to be nice and colorful. So I'm just going to choose different colors and do swirls like that. But I have chosen, in my mind, I know that I'm going to be painting my background a purpley pinky sort of magenta color. So I'm making sure that I leave pink or magenta until I come to paint. So I'm not going to use magenta for any of these swirls. I'm just going to use other colors. Okay, so I'm ready for painting and I'm going to paint my Easter Bunny a sort of a yellowy brown color. Don't forget to keep certain bits of your artwork white. Your teeth of your rabbit need to stay white and also the reflection in your eyes and also the white section around the iris of the eyes. There we are, there is my artwork for my Easter Bunny.